secret. There are places in our world where fiction and dreams can come true, powered by the dark energies leaking from beyond. These places are a battlefield in a war between the powers of light and darkness. Remedy's latest addition to their dramatic thriller series, Alan Wake's American Nightmare, offers a unique Xbox Live Arcade experience. With a crazy storyline, new weapons, and new foes, is Alan Wake's American Nightmare a dream for gamers, or is it just that? A nightmare. Oh, it's not enough! The story takes place in the deserts of Arizona, where Wake you must face his evil lose. twin, Mr. Scratch. Lose, As a new character, Mr. Scratch is like watching the Joker. He is pure evil, but there is a dark humor about him that you cannot take your eyes off of. His live-action cutscenes that you can watch throughout the game are dark, twisted, and at times, hard to watch. However, they build the story that much more and are a great addition on Remedy's part. No matter how many times you come back! Remedy increased the weapon range for gamers in their arcade title as well, adding submachine guns, assault rifles, and even a nail gun. To be honest, the addition of submachine guns and assault rifles concerned me. I didn't want this to feel like another third-person shooter. Luckily, American Nightmare doesn't feel anything like your standard third-person shooter. You absolutely must use the nail gun at least once. Every time I used it, I couldn't help but be overcome with joy. Remedy certainly has not lost its sense of dramatic ambiance and the general sense of things that go bump in the night. At its core, American Nightmare is an action thriller. Gamers will encounter a few new foes to fight in the darkness as well. Spiders, splitters, birdmen, grenadiers, and giants can be expected to keep you on your toes throughout the game. Spiders especially can be quite annoying. Personally, I found it difficult to see when there are more of them, or to just see them at all. They tend to blend in with the ground and can catch you off guard quite a bit. As for the splitters, they are incredibly easy to manage in combat. If you shine your flashlight on them, they split into two, but become weaker as they split. Depending on how many of the Taken you start against, they may make you panic a bit more. What are you, the King Hillbilly? Gameplay and controls remain largely the same to its predecessor, so fans of Alan Wake will feel comfortable even with the new additions. Never fear, you still have access to your trusty flare gun, your flashbangs, and your flares. You'll find that utilizing those little gems will buy you some escape time. Graphics almost mimic that of the retail game and truly set the bar high for future Xbox Live Arcade titles. Fans of the retail game will be pleased to see that some of the old mechanics have been improved. First off, it would appear that all of that running from the darkness has improved Alan's stamina as he can sprint longer than before. He is still no Olympic sprinter by any means, but he does appear to have a little more foot speed. As part of his running regiment, he must have also gotten his hands on some stronger batteries. You'll find that your batteries charge much quicker and last longer than in the previous retail game. However, with any game, there are a few flaws to be found in the darkness of American Nightmare. Depending on how engaged you are in the story, you may find the amount of cutscenes to be a bit much. You may also find that the repetitious plot can become tedious. However, to be fair, it ties in with the story and does have a purpose. With each repetition, a new piece of the story increases the difficulty and also introduces new foes. Some gamers may see this as a challenge, others may get frustrated. I had both feelings. It would appear that Remedy felt a need to hop on the survival mode bandwagon with the addition of Fight Till Dawn. You play as Alan in a wave-based mode against enemies that become increasingly more difficult with each wave. For every taken you dodge or kill, your multiplier is increased. If you are struck, your multiplier starts over. Sure, it's a fun mode if you're into that kind of game, but it certainly isn't a make-or-break feature of the game. One thing that was enjoyable during the gameplay was American Nightmare's soundtrack. The use of Kasabian's Clubfoot raises the awesome level to 11. Not to mention original compositions from Poets of Fall, including a new classic from our dear seniors, The Old Gods of Asgard. Music plays a much larger role in this game compared to its predecessor, so expect to kick some ass and take some names while jamming out to some sweet rock songs. Overall, Alan Wake's American Nightmare is an action-packed thriller that fans will not want to miss. Loyal fans will surely love it, but newcomers may find it a bit repetitive. The additions of new weapons, enemies, and game types increase the gameplay value, but the main campaign can be completed in anywhere from 3 to 5 hours. Remedy has certainly put forth an enjoyable benchmark in Xbox Live Arcade titles with its retail game quality graphics and gameplay. 
You can download Alan Wake's American Nightmare on the Xbox Live Marketplace for 1,200 Microsoft points. We the Gamers gives Alan Wake's American Nightmare a 4 out of 5. 